Okay, next we have, we have sex just to avoid the real issues. Okay, seven of pentacles reversed. Five of pentacles. Ace of Wands reverse. It's masculine. This is a masculine not turned on. Okay, there's a tower. Seeing this is the same. These masculines are seeing everything. Show me this Ace of Wands reverse. There's a karmic feminine here. Yeah, yeah, there she goes. Told you, told you, told you, told you. I can tell. Uh, karmic feminine, okay, karmic wife, okay, or living girlfriend. This feels more like somebody's wife, okay? Uh, very unhe unhealthy, ungrounded, unstable, okay? Very materialist, materialistic, superficial. Okay, she's tried to have sex here with um, this masculine. It didn't work, okay? False success, okay? Possibly just trying to have sex to keep this masculine, okay, from leaving. That didn't work didn't work okay this masculine is just bored with her bored just unmotivated by her just no passion for her okay possibly just can't get his wand up type of deal um <laughs> uh seven of pentacles there's just no rewards from that she's trying trying to use sex to avoid the real issue the real issues and it's like there's no rewards coming from that she's getting really impatient feels left out in the cold could be struggling financially okay she tried to push her own agenda it's just not working so what this masculine is seeing that very clearly judgment his eyes 2020 vision seeing that very clearly okay there's a tower bringing in the tower okay the universe has brought the tower in that too like uh uh no 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 your sex is not this was not this is not what's going to keep y'all together okay okay this masculine here is reuniting here with the soulmate, the twin flame. Okay, otherwise healing childhood issues, childhood trauma. Show me, um, show me, let me get this other deck. You guys know, if you guys watch this channel, you subscribe to this channel. I'm the clarifying queen. I like a lot of details like to see now all the details okay I got Virgo in my second house for any of you guys that know that okay show me this uh, there's a divorce separation coming break up I'm um, showing this karmic feminine yeah yeah they're married here this masculine learned the lesson Learn the spiritual lesson in her is no. There is a Queen of Cups, Divine Feminine. Okay, Three of Cups. He's going towards you, Divine Feminine. That's the whole lesson. To leave this person behind. No more. Stop the sex. It's not going to do anything at this point. Okay, but I see this masculine has no passions, motivations. Um. Let me see, how is this karmic partner feeling at the moment? Okay, she knows he's got new love, self-love, yeah. Ten of Pentacles, okay. Could be dealing with a Virgo or she could be a Virgo. Either way, she knows he's going towards new love, spending time alone in hermit mode, self-reflecting, okay. Finding his truth, going towards his Ten of Pentacles, maybe starting a new family. Either way, he's finding direction. He's moving forward. Either way. Yeah, she's burdened, stressed by that. Yeah, she's pissed off. Angry, very angry. Very, very, very angry, upset, mad. Just, uh, very mad. Okay, yeah, she feels left out in the cold. Could be struggling financially could be playing games here uh, for money otherwise she's still struggling uh, mentally though 
but she's trying to steal one at all costs, trying to defeat this masculine. Yeah, disappointment. She tried to push her own agenda, but only ended up being disappointed. Yeah. Yep, he's got a new person. Well, you, Divine Love, Divine Feminine. If this is y'all's story right here. Divine Feminine is his, yeah. He's motivated, inspired by you to start a new passionate beginning with you. He wants to have sex with you, Divine Feminine, yeah. Nine of Cups coming out of this back and forth, internal struggle, battle, competition. Six of Wands. He recognizes you're his, where he's going to start to take action towards. You're his victory. You're his success. He's turned on by you. With her, it's Ace of Wands reversed. Okay, the, four, the fact that she's forcing herself on him is turning him completely off. Okay, and he wants to have sex with you. Um, yeah, this karmic partner, I just feel like there's, that they're getting separated here. Yeah, 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 yeah. He didn't have the willpower to move forward. He stayed stuck, yeah, from improving, coming out of the cold. He's not taking any type of actions towards her. Maybe, though, if they have kids or a child together. But yeah, he's leaving her behind, definitely. Withdrawing from her. This is the end of the family dynamics. Divorce, separation. He's getting ready to take action to do so. Okay, let's move on. I told you guys, these karmic cycles were getting closed out, didn't I? It's just inevitable. I'm getting ready to ask you on a date. Ace of Wands reverse. Getting ready to take action. Okay, just afraid to take action at the moment because why he's trapped in fear. He's trapped in fear, overthinking in his head right now at the moment. Okay. Full reverse, yeah. He's getting ready to take the leap of faith, but he's just shy, okay. Afraid to take the leap of faith. He's gotten clarity, justice here. He's dropped somebody, yeah. He's got stabbed in the back here by someone, okay. Otherwise, just stressing out about that person. He he, uh, he drops, okay. He's got to adapt to change. You got to see the truth, just justice. The, the, it's, everything is just very obvious, very blatant. It's just, bam, this is what it is. Drop this other fucking person. Whoever you're juggling, they got to be dropped, like, hot right now. King of Pentacles, yeah, he's grounding himself, getting his money together. Okay, maturing. High Priestess reverse, double reverse. What he's not telling you, what the secret is, he's restoring control. He's dropping that other person if y'all are in a third party. Okay. Restoring control, getting ready to codependency addictions. Getting ready to stand his ground, plant a new seed in the material world, have a new beginning with you, and you start with you. Okay, could possibly be starting a new job with some of these masculines. Otherwise, they're planting a new seed to get their strength, courage up, um, getting their strength, courage up to overcome these obstacles. Okay, he wasn't learning the lesson here in the recent past. He was getting confused, not thinking, not thinking for himself, allowing other people to put uh, implant thoughts into his mind. Okay, just just staying in confusion. Okay, not not having his own mind. Okay. Um, Tell me the secret with this masculine, please, for the divine masculines at the moment. So I know he's releasing, yeah, star reverse, magician reverse, tower on that shit. Yeah, staying confused, all this shit, not working on that, just staying confused, not thinking for your own, being, living a lie, being reckless, impulsive, being a liar, not telling the truth, okay? being a bully and all that bullshit, pushing your own agenda towards your divine, excuse me, towards your divine feminine. All that shit, He's got, he wants to reconcile now. All this illusions, confusions, trying to manipulate you, other people manipulating him, and then he manipulates you. 
being negative, negatively focused, being afraid of the future, being afraid to have faith in the future, being afraid to have hope uh, in the future, okay? Being afraid to heal, okay? Because he was unhealed, he was just putting on a show, okay? Trying to act like somebody he wasn't. Being afraid to uh, take the lead in his life, being afraid to be the leader, okay? Just acting like somebody he wasn't, acting like he was this big boss thing, but he really wasn't here because he was letting other people dictate, control his life, and to manipulate him, okay? So that's the secret. There's a tower on that. That's coming down. That whole foundation is coming down. He's maturing. He needs time. Feminine. Give him time. Divine feminine. He's, uh, for a lot of these masculines, getting ready to ask you on a date or take you out in some way, shape, or form or spend time with you. Okay? That's what he's not saying right now, is that he's restoring control at the moment in his life. Getting rid of this codependencies, these addictions, toxic people, places, things, beliefs, thoughts. Okay? Any obsessions? Okay, people obsessed with him. Getting rid of that, restoring control. Getting rid of the devil's energy. Cursed bloodline. Queen of Swords. Will of Fortune. Okay, going towards you, Divine Feminine. You could be an Aquarius, Libra, Gemini. Okay, going towards the will of fortune, his destiny, ready to turn the will with you. Okay, you see how they're kicking off that uh, that person right there, that energy? Those are the karmics right there, kicking that off. You all are turning the will, spinning the will to have good karma now. Okay, there's a universe here assisting to turn the will, to have good karma, good fortune. Okay, getting rid of these toxic, uh, codependent uh, karmics. Okay, let's get one more card. I don't know why he's trying to stop to pull that. Six of Wands. He recognizes this cursed bloodline. Okay, these ancestral patterns, curses, whatever. Okay, ready to restore, uh, recover here from this heartbreak, heartache, this pain, this suffering, okay? This uh, suffering and love, okay? Um, in his mind, okay? Um, uh, going towards his happiness with you, okay? You're also in that swords energy, that Gemini energy today. The moon's going in Gemini, about to go into uh, Cancer, though. But you're just also, too, you're not really focused on love also right now. Divine feminines are not really focused on love. It's just logic, okay? Just cut to the truth. I don't care about no love right now. I don't care about the bullshit. I just need you to make logical, practical decisions here, okay? You're just taking in information here. Uh, balancing out your mind, managing your your mind and your mental health. You're just like, give me the truth, nothing but the truth. Okay, the truth is, cut this to the truth. You're cutting out people you need to cut out to Divine Feminine. And you're waiting on your masculine to do the same. Any of this cursed bloodline, cursed people, codependencies, these karmic feminines, you're like, just cut these motherfuckers out so we can make this change, so we can go towards our real destiny, okay? You recognize that, he recognizes that. Y'all are both receiving success from that. Uh, you could be publicly being recognized at this moment, okay? You could have, this. otherwise, y'all are both, this is an achievement, okay? Uh, this is definitely a huge, huge spiritual achievement here. Your ancestors, are, your ancestors are recognizing this. This is a great achievement, okay? It may not seem like that. That may sound silly to you, um, but that is the reality. That's the truth, okay? Y'all are healing ancestral patterns, out here, literally out here, healing ancestral fucking patterns and curses, bro. Just out here, bruh. Like, y'all, I am so pa That's one thing I'm so passionate about. Healing generational curses. Like, y'all have no idea. This masculine was afraid, could be dealing with the Pisces, hanged man. He was afraid to sacrifice, afraid to make a sacrifice, afraid to give up control to the divine, to God, okay? To, to surrender to a higher perspective, okay? To surrender to gaining a higher perspective, to become enlightened, okay? Making unnecessary sacrifices for these karmics, okay? These cursed, toxic people that just kept wanting to keep the cursed bloodline going, okay? Being a people pleaser, self-victimization, let me see this hangman reversed. Yeah, he's making progress towards that now because this whole thing, this whole dynamic being a people pleaser, okay, just pleasing people and shit like that and sacrificing yourself, sabotaging yourself, 
Okay, maybe you too, Divine Feminine, but this is what I'm picking up for this masculine. Okay, this masculine is like, you know what, it's a false security. Okay, I feel like that masculine relied on this people pleasing to feel good about himself in the past. But now that's coming to an end, it's coming to a close. It's a false success, it's a false victory. He will, he will never feel internally satisfied. It will never be able to internally master himself, pleasing everybody else and, and living in uh, just suffering here in his mind, okay? Uh, this person played me out. And pinnacles, self mastery, mastered yourself. Yeah. Coming out of this internal struggle battle, this is childhood trauma, trauma, and uh, long term thinking here, being trapped, okay? Suffering in your mind, having anxiety, anxiety with love, okay? Could, could have had sleepless nights, trouble sleeping, just emotional mental turmoil, okay, being trapped, you see his hands are all trapped and bound, you were trapped in your mind here from this long-term thinking, maybe from childhood for, for a lot of you guys, now you've mastered that, okay, you've mastered that, you're coming out of this internal struggle and battle with yourself, okay, fighting against love, playing yourself out of love, opportunities of unconditional love, okay, we have uh, getting bad advice from other people. Somebody here played you out, gave you bad advice, advised you of to do negative things here. You weren't thinking for yourself, being negative, just being mentally weak. Okay, getting trapped in fear, getting trapped in this illusion of fear. Okay, and now I see you're releasing fear, taking matters into your own hands and following your heart, trusting your intuition, practicing self-love. Whatever that was, was a missed opportunity, bad investment. Just Planted bad seeds, okay? Person played, played me out. Show me this person that played you out. Yes, this person took advantage of you. Took advantage of you. Took advantage of your innocence, okay? Yeah, you were really naive. Just giving your whole everything to this person. Yeah. This person took advantage of you. Took you for granted. The karmic, there you go. So one of your karmic partners here, because of that, you got bad luck. They were trying to cling to control of your life. Because of that, you got bad luck, bad karma. Yeah. Yeah. Show me this karmic, please. Yeah, now you're moving on. You're moving on. You're moving the fuck on now. Yeah, Seven of Swords, yeah. Spirit stepped in. This person was just deceiving you, tricking you, manipulating you for sure. For sure. What was this karmic partner trying to take advantage of? Queen of Swords? Trying to take advantage of your Divine Feminine. Aquarius, Libra, Gemini. Yeah, trying to take advantage of your how? Trying to take advantage of your feminine. Yeah, trying to break you guys up. Okay, there she is. This is a karmic partner. Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio, female. A karmic female. Um, yeah, she's playing emotional games, emotionally manipulating. No empathy, no compassion. Okay, if y'all live together, she was trying to break you guys up. Okay, cause tension between your home. Definitely trying to cause a separation, breakup, divorce. Otherwise, just trying to create tension, manipulating you. Mm-hmm, yeah. Trying to take advantage of your twin flame union, soulmate union in general, if y'all don't live together. Uh, karmic partner for wands reversed. Okay. King of wands, you weren't standing your ground, masculine. You weren't being a leader. You weren't 
you weren't being a leader. You weren't taking the lead over this manipulative person. This manipulative female, karmic female. Yeah. You were allowing this person to be deceptive. Yep, and play tricks and stuff. Yeah. This person had just unexpected, unrealistic expectations. Maybe of your divine feminine? I don't know. But now you're ready. You're getting ready to assert yourself fearlessly. You're looking towards the future now to take action. Whatever she was doing, taking advantage, you have no passions and motivations for that shit anymore. Mm hmm. Let me see something. Tell me more about this karmic partner trying to take advantage. Tell us more, please. Baby. Tell me more about this karmic fucking bitch right here, first of all. I'm fantasizing about you, baby. I can hear and feel so strongly. I understand our connection. I'm just not ready to accept it yet. I have major control issues. Yeah, she's got major control issues. Um, you could have possibly had major control issues too, Divine Masculine. Um, this masculine is saying, I understand our connection. I'm just not ready to accept it yet. I feel like in the past, he just wasn't ready to accept it, okay? He could be fantasizing about you. Divine Feminine, you could be fantasizing about him, okay? But he says, I can still fear, feel and hear you so strongly. Okay, maybe you guys are connecting here in the 5D, okay? Okay, mastery of self-love has been ordained in, prepar in preparation for union. This is what's going on right now. Mastery of self-love. This is the Nine of Pentacles energy right here. You and your masculine are have mastered yourself, okay? Yeah. Yeah. That's the only way y'all are going to be getting into union and preparing for union. This is, yeah, there you go. Other side, third party. This masculine let this third party get in the way, okay, of your guys' union. If y'all live together, like I said, it could have been a homewrecker. Definitely seeing those. Definitely. But it's okay because this third party feminine, whoever, or even anybody else that came in between your guys' union, they're getting really bad karma right now, and they, or they soon will be, very shortly. Very soon, believe me. Spirits already let me know that. I already know that. Show me this karmic feminine here that tried to take advantage. Sorry, you guys, if you need to skip past this part, do so because um, uh, these are kind of loud. So this karmic feminine that came in between y'all's union, these are some messages spirit brought out for us about her. I know if you guys weren't at a distance, I would not be in the picture. This could be that feminine energy. Remember I said this could be somebody's sister um, that I told you was a family member that lived at a distance from you guys and she was deceiving and all that bullshit. This could be that same feminine energy that lives far away from you guys or at a distance. Okay, she's getting a divorce if she's married. If that's somebody's sister, she's getting a divorce. Okay, she's mentally abusive. Could have mentally abused you, okay? Could have mentally abused your masculine. Could have uh, caused your masculine to take advantage of you by manipulating you mentally just so she could take advantage of you. Otherwise, talking all kinds of shit. Okay, she likes to talk all kinds of shit. Y'all are probably already know that. I'm just confirming this, y'all, for the y'all. Broken pride and ego. Yeah, photo proof, getting evidence, have evidence. I downgraded, this masculine downgraded for with her. Will you marry me? This masculine is gonna wanna marry you in the future. 
I'm constantly watching you, checking on you online. Yeah, she's, this is the, yeah, this is probably a Scorpio. Scorpios, they, if they're unhealthy and unhealed, like this person, they are obsessive and stuff. She could be watching you constantly online, Divine Feminine. Okay, could be constantly watching your masculine. Okay, obsessive. She's obsessive. An obsessive lover. Okay. I'm so done. You and your masculine are so done with her. Yeah, because love shouldn't hurt. We are breaking up. I feel like there's going to be... Not feel like there is going to be a separation between her and your masculine. If this is somebody in their family, you know, like a sister, mother, cousins. Excuse me. Or their sisters, brothers, whoever the fuck. This is a female in this case. They're separating, okay? There's tension between them. There's br Bridges have been burned, okay? I feel like there's a lack of trust between them if it is a family member. Otherwise, they're breaking up, but it says at a distance, so... Yeah, either way, whoever this is, for some of these feminines, are getting a divorce. They're going to be breaking up. Yeah. Okay. person will be getting their karma tenfold. Believe that. No matter how much control they think they have or whatever. Your masculine got bad karma too for trying to control things. Maybe working with that deceptive energy. Either way, yeah, that's why this masculine got played out. That's what I see. Got bad advice from this person and that person played this masculine out. He wasn't learning from his bad karma and... This is how unfortunate, not unfortunately, that's the karma, okay? Karma is very real. Don't believe what they are saying. Four of Swords, this masculine is thinking a lot, contemplating, trying to rest his mind, trying to rebalance out his mind, okay, and his perception, okay? Thinking a lot about possibly what people in his circle have been saying, okay? <clears throat> Making bad judgments here, rejecting love, rejecting you and love, Divine Feminine. Remaining apathetic, okay? Apathetic towards you, acting like he was disinterested in you, okay? Maybe he was getting bad advice, maybe from that inner, other energy we just seen, to reject you, okay? Six of Cups, Two of Wands, yeah. This is what he's thinking about right now, though, at the moment. He's thinking about here, he's going to have this reconci reconciliation with you, with the soulmate, with you, Divine Feminine. Two of Wands, he's just internally, this is a rest time. This is definitely going to come during um, Cancer, is a, is a feminine sign. So, uh water so uh internally just in hermit mode yes her uh cancer is the crab but uh internally going with it excuse me going with it <sighs> internally um just processing their emotions okay uh processing their heart space <clears throat> um just thinking a lot about their emotions okay get in their mind uh, together, like I said. Um, but either wise, they're coming back. Six of Cups. When the moon goes into Cancer, this is just going to be a quiet time. So it's feminine energy, so it's internal. So he's internally here planning to take action, getting ready toward, getting ready for that moon in Leo. That 8-8 eight, eight portal, they're going to take action, 8-8, eight, eight, to overcome this cycle they continuously, infinitely just been in here. Okay, but once the moon is going to go into Cancer, the moon's going to be in Cancer for starting today for the next two and a half days. So, Six of Cups, reconciling with the soulmate. But what I'm picking up on, we got the moon going into Cancer. Cancer is at home in the moon, or the moon is uh, ruled by Cancer, so that's its home sign. Okay. Yeah. This is rebalancing out, reconciling emotionally. 
healing childhood wounds, issues, emotional wounds, emotional healing. Yeah, this is going to be reconciliation. This masculine is just thinking, contemplating a lot about what everybody's saying or what they are saying, whoever they is. Um, and you are my forever love. This is a nice one to close out. says you are my forever love. Okay, Ten of Pentacles reversed. Okay, whatever whatever old foundation that was is done, coming to an end. That foundation is getting closed and tore down. If they were together, um, breakups. Okay, these are for the karmics. Okay, if they were married, Breakups, divorces, separations, believe me, believe that. Okay. The old foundation, family dynamics, done, 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 done. Okay. You're my forever love. Okay, there's a three of swords reverse once again, recovering his heart, recovering this pain, okay? Going towards his happiness, that went into flat in my hands. Okay, releasing the baggage here. Okay, all the stress, burdens, unnecessary baggage from these karmics. Slowly but surely, patiently playing to put in the work to overcome, to move forward here. Hermits, once again, I said spending a lot of time alone. Okay, because why? Secrets, truths have been revealed. Okay, everything's out. Everything's out and open. Nobody can trick anybody like that anymore. So no longer sitting there in confusion. Everything that was done in the dark that in the dark is bring, being brought to light. Let's get a card. Pulse this reading out. Okay, be spontaneous reverse. These masculines are getting ready to take the leap of faith. Yeah, because they're about to do what? They need to start turning away from these karmic cycles. Karmic cycles, karmic feminines here. Okay, and you need to just trust. You need to just trust divine feminine. You need to just trust divine masculine. You need to just trust, okay, because it's going to happen. I'm going to pull a soulmate card. I don't ever use these, but we're going to use it today. Cancer Moon, I'm telling you. And the 8 8 portal, the Lion's Gate portal. Definitely, definitely, definitely. <clears throat> what does Divine Masculine want to communicate to Divine Feminine? What does Divine Feminine want to communicate to Divine Masculine? Okay. Harmony is pure love, for love is complete agreement. Okay, that is the mutual energies, top of the deck. Y'all are about to be in harmony again and in sync again here. Uh, Divine Feminine says, fall in love when you are ready, not when you're lonely. Yeah. In the end, you tried and you cared, and sometimes that is enough. I'm telling you, these end, these karmic cycles are being put to an end. They're being let go of. I promise, I promise, I promise. Not going to be overnight or nothing like that. But I'm telling you guys, when you meet your, the masculine says, to the feminine, when you meet your soulmate, you feel calm, no anxiety, and no agitation. That's nice. Okay, well, that is all I have for you guys for today. This is the energies for today. Okay, hope you guys enjoy this. If you're new to the channel, welcome. You can subscribe. You can like the video. Welcome to our family. I'm so grateful for all the subscribers, the subscriptions. So, so, so grateful for all the likes, and I'm so grateful uh, for all the comments, you guys. Um, this is really a pleasure. This is really an honor for me to be able to deliver these messages to you, okay, and to give you guys hope, inspiration, okay, and faith into the future. So um, I will see you guys tomorrow, and you guys have a good day. You guys take care, rest, okay? We got the moon and cancer. You need to rest. Um, and just really reflect here on your journey, okay? And uh, 
if you need to rest, okay, that's just most importantly, get ready for this change. Um, I'll see you guys uh, tomorrow. You guys take care. You have a good day and uh, namaste.